Hello everyone, the Dex here, and welcome to my UU Matter factory for Industrial Craft Squared. Um, in this factory, I'm using basically all of the Technic modes that I like to use, which are Equivalent Exchange, Red Power, Build Craft, and of course um, Industrial Craft 2. Now, I'm also using an addition of uh, Logistics Pipes by Craft, and uh, because they make things uh, a lot simpler. And let me show you how this factory works. So this is my basic module for infinite geothermal energy using lava buckets. Uh, I won't go over this setup. There is another tutorial for this. You can go and check it. However, there are a few changes made to this uh, module. First is between the condenser and the deployer with the Vulcan Amulet, I'm using two logistics pipes in the way of a provider pipe that will ignore the first stack inventory, ignoring the target stack, and uh, a supplier pipe pulling redstone. And the other change is that the retriever retrieving the empty buckets, I'm basically using two pulses every time the entire circuit pulls, using a repeater and a pulse generator. So every time the circuit pulses, the retriever for the empty buckets pulses twice. It makes things a little more efficient. If you'll build this, you'll understand also why. Okay, so the next step is, if you know or not know, uh, creating UU Matter is made in mass fabricators. And if you have scrap, it makes the procedure of crafting them a lot faster, which also saves energy. You basically get the UU Matter faster for less energy. So I built a system that uh, using the energy from the geothermal generators, I split it into two minor systems. First one is the recycler. I'm using a recycler with nine overclock upgrades and which recycles cobblestone being generated in the condenser with a Mark III collector. And a retriever retrieving full stacks of cobblestone every four seconds. That keeps my recycler full of all times uh, with scrap. And the third part of the factory is the mass fabricator module. Now that might be a little bit frightening what's going on here using these uh, EU splitter cables. Uh, let me explain what's going on here. So also as you can see in this setup my mass fabricators will never run out of scrap because scrap is being generated faster than it's being used and it's uh, self-sufficient and you don't need to maintenance it. However, if you may expand on the system and you might do something wrong in terms of calculations, calculations of how much scrap is being generated per how much how many mass fabricators are there, you might end up in a situation where you got mass fabricators without any uh, scrap in them. So what I did in order to countermeasure that is build this system. I'm using end gates from Buildcraft 3.x branch uh, with the following conditionals. If there are items in inventory, scrap, generate a red pipe signal. Because I'm placing the mass fabricator modules adjacent to each other, I'm using, as you can see, red pipe for the first one and the last one here and here and the blue pipe for the middle one and if I'm going to expand it on this in the future I'm going to use blue one again and red one again you don't have to use blue or red you can use any two colors it's up to you really so it will check if the inventory has scrap and if it does it will generate a red pipe signal and then uh, using cobblestone structure pipes with another end gate near it if the signal coming from the adjacent pipe is off, turn the redstone signal on. So right now I have scrap in this fabricator and EU is running into it. It's working. And if I'm going to take scrap out, the system is causing this uh, splitter to basically turn off and not waste any energy on the fabricator that doesn't have any scrap in it. This way I'm saving energy. So let me show you what I'm using uh, Craft Logistics Pipes for. Uh, here I'm using the new uh, chassis pipes from the latest, latest version. 
they give you an option to basically it's a generic type of pipes which you can module in any, any way you want so I'm using a Mark 1 chassis pipe for every uh, fabricator with an extractor module in it it's a very simple type of uh, contraption it's basically like a wooden pipe with a redstone engine but uh, it's cleaner it will take an item out of an inventory every five seconds if it has anywhere to go so here this basic redstone pipe has requested the uh, UU matter as an item and uh, this inventory is where I collect everything so every five seconds the extractor pipes are checking if the system has a UU matter somewhere in it where it wants to go and if it does and it does it will suck them out of the fabricator into this chest next I'm also using provider pipe for my recycler connected uh, from the recycler to the fabricators and each and every one of these supplier pipes is always supplying 64 scraps and also know how to uh, supply partially if it's uh, possible and I also want to say that the current setup of using 18 geothermal generators one recycler with nine overclocker upgrades and three mass fabricators is a stable uh, setup uh, and quite efficient now if you want to use more geothermal generators and generate more energy you will need more collectors to generate uh, more redstone to generate lava faster that's the thing with the system that every time you want to expand you need to expand on everything using this setup of three mass fabricators one recycler and 18 geothermal generators is a stable setup and that's it uh, it's a very expensive system there might be other system which are better however this system is uh, very reliable there are no overflows and uh, you don't need to take care of it everything is fully automatic and pretty much uh, far and forget uh, thank you for your time, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe.